Hey YouTube, uh, Tony here again. Um, the Ogre Kingdoms video that I'm going to post up uh, about uh, for Win uh, as a video response um, turned out quite long. It was about 15, uh, 17, 18 minutes. Um, uh, it's it's you know quite an in-depth book, I guess. Uh, I'm just flicking through the pages and uh, the, the time time was just running on. Um, so I'm going to cut it up into two parts, uh, I'll label them up part one and part two obviously and uh, I'll get them up uh, as soon as uh, YouTube lets me. Alright, um, so uh, here's part one and uh, part two to follow, cheers. Hi oh, YouTube, it's Tone again, uh, Chinga Spy. Uh, another video response to one of Win, Win's videos, uh, in, it, in it he mentioned about the Yoga Kingdoms uh, being a request that he's got through. and. Um, I, he said he hadn't got the book. Uh, he's right. In, f in fact, it didn't come out until sixth edition. Uh, my version's still the current version, um, and uh, it's printed in 2006. So, uh, two I think it might even be 2004. Just check. Yeah, 2004. Oops. Um, anyway, yeah. So uh, I'll uh, point out the book and uh, go through it with you. All right. See ya. Right, here we go, here's the Yoda Kingdoms book, cost me a whole £12 again, £18 these days, uh, same book, great. Um, but there you go, lovely picture on the front, yeah, um, Ogre Tyrant with uh, a load of brutes around him by the looks of things. Um, so this is 2004 version, um, which I think is the only version of the Ogre Kingdoms so far. Uh, it's well, 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 well out of uh, date now, um, they are really... Uh, you know, really hindered in the new game. Um, I think 8th edition has made it a bit more viable, but still hindered in many ways, I believe. Uh, right, so we've got... Uh, this book is really well laid out, actually. It's got all the, you know, fluffy bits and uh, all the information that we need um, for roleplay um, at the front of the book, and then it goes into the army lists at the back. So really nice, uh, rather than, you know, stop in the middle and uh, go from, you know, go on a bit at the end. So we've got an introduction, again lays out the book for you, and in this we expect to find the ogres and their kin, uh, in-depth look at the nature of the ogres and their origins, uh, the Brutus hordes, which is full details for all the troop types, which we, you know, similar to the other books, uh, kingdoms of the ogre, which uh, goes into a little bit of detail about um, the lands that they live in, uh, which can be quite varied, uh, a gathering of might, which is the army list which we don't really need, but it's all the stat blocks, um, you know, for converting up, and the guts of legend, which is the, uh, um, you know, uh, special characters basically. Right, lovely two-page uh, painting there of the uh, looks like Greasius, the uh, big big ogre guy um, sitting on his throne uh, with uh, all the brutes wrestling and drinking and eating and. All the other debauchery going on now. Alright, ogres. Uh, so, um, there we go. A couple of things from the computer there, sorry. Uh, this is all the fluffy bits for you. All the base main histories of them. And this book does go into a lot of history because, as I say, I think it's the only book that they've made so far for the uh, Fantasy Battle game. Um, I'm going to have to stop leaning on my keyboard because it's making a dingy noise. Um, so, uh, you know, I've got lots of uh, examples of their artwork and stuff uh, on these little graphics at the bottom there. Um, ogre culture, section on culture, because uh, uh, sort of a caste system there. Um, with the uh, poor little knoblars at the end, uh, very bottom of that chain. <laughs> Right, that's uh, another two page spread, lots of new artwork in this book, which uh, hadn't been released probably until now. <clears throat> there we go, Mountains of Morn, which is where they mainly live. Just get out of my keyboard. Right, um, so uh, basically where uh, the ogres are uh, uh, situated in craggy valleys and stuff in the upper mountains um, along with the yetis and the uh, 
I uh, forget what they call them now, lurkers sort of characters, maybe we'll find them later. Um, Noblars, you know, the poor little guys at the bottom of everything carrying around their uh, clubs and uh, basically getting their hands on whatever equipment they can get to defend themselves. Uh, here we go, the Brutish Whores, which is where the ogres start proper in this book. Um, again, lovely artwork there. See the, the size difference between the uh, Empire um, Halbiders uh, against the uh, monstrous um, ogres. They're classed as monstrous infantry now, um, which means they get a few more special rules in the 8th edition book uh, just to give them a little bit of a, more of a chance, but apparently it's not really working out for them. They need an update. Um, these guys are amazing. I've got one of these models. Uh, the butchers, uh, sort of magicians if you like, and there's the hunter in the front there. Got him as well, he's got these two sabre tusk, uh, sort of, yeah, lots of, sort of lion type uh, animals with him. There's the lurker thing, I, I think his name is a lurker, I don't know. They come on, um, sort of, uh, you know, from the table edge uh, to disrupt the troops. Um, yeah. All the different units there. You've got these cool uh, ninja sort of man eaters. You get ninjas and pirates, and there's a, a bearded lady one, stuff like that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Ah, oh, they're called gorgers, these things. These are gorgers, I remember now. And yeah, they come, you know, they can come from the table edge. Um, you can see the size difference again to the uh, Empire models, hopefully. So we actually get some colour in this book. Uh, we've got Tyrants. Goes into detail about the, uh, the, the big hero type characters. There's uh, the more familiar looking one with the, the two ended uh, club thing there. And you got Bruisers which are like the lower um, heroes. Lesser heroes. Um, full colour sort of cartoony work. There's a model of him, sorry about the shine on the page, so I can't help it, won't be able to see otherwise. Um, butchers, the magicians, I think you get um, slaughter masters at the, uh, the higher uh, level wizards basically, uh, and they use gut magic in the Yoga Kingdoms and it's a whole new lot of special rules about gut magic. Um, you know, where they uh, spew forth the magic from their bellies uh, um, using the uh, the piles of dead animals and their, you know, basically last night's dinner. Um, hunters, I uh, don't know many people who use them, but I've got one of the, I've got the model, there's only the one model, and that's him there, with his sabre tusks. Uh, look at the size difference to the dwarves, it's, uh, even on top of the hill, I mean, he's going to look massive, but he's, he's absolutely huge compared to dwarves. Um, uh, the Ogre Bulls, which are your, your stock infantry troops uh, with the Ogre Club, um, which is a, a semi-special weapon. It's a, it's a normal choice for them, but um, you can opt not to have it, but uh, I think they always carry their club. Um, but you get the pit fighter types as well uh, with uh, sort of hand weapons. I don't know if I can show that. See there on the left, uh, sword and a sort of a hand uh, claw. Uh, it's pit fighting weapons. It's a bit more fluffy for you. Uh, they, they, they love pit fighting and wrestling on their uh, off days. Um, Iron Guts, which are the sort of more uh, elite infantry choice, two handed weapons. There's the uh, box that you could buy, um, quite expensive, and that's up against some orcs. They're even big against orcs. Okay, so that's uh, the end of part one. Uh, part two coming up. Uh, so this one turned out quite long, so. Uh, uh, split up into two chunks so I could get everything in there, couldn't cut anything out, um, it'd be missing pages out for you. So uh, I'll see you again in a minute, bye.